So, good morning. I woke up, first of all, work up, woke up to the stupid squirrel messing around before it was even light outside. So, I moved from my room to the couch so I could actually continue to sleep. I wake up now. It's 8.40. 8.40, and I realize that I missed a text message from the person at 7.42 saying that he was here a little early and asking if I was awake. So, no, I was not awake because he never texted me yesterday to say what time he would be here. Thankfully... He is close by and stopping at Home Depot, and then we'll just be here soon. I'm so, I'm so done with these people. Get ready, because this is year six of daily vlogging. Okay, so Squirrel Guy has been here. And now that I have actually... It has been explained. I really hope I sent that correctly. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang I on. messed up. I messed up, everyone. Um, I accidentally CC'd people on an email instead of BCC'd. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I am going to send out another message right now and say I deeply apologize. I don't really know how I made that mistake because I haven't made that mistake in a long time, but I'm mad at myself. So yeah, that's a... Uh... That's not some, that's not a mistake I love making uh, and it hasn't happened in years. So hopefully no one will hold that against me uh, too, too much. Um, so yeah, thankfully too, it was an email that pretty much went out to literally everyone who's in my database who lives in Georgia because it wasn't like a specific like, oh, these roles are who they're looking for. It was just a headshot thing for everyone that my, uh, someone I know asked me to send out. Um, anyway, now that that's done, Squirrel Guy, it's been explained to me now that trapping can actually take six to eight days because he didn't only bait the trap, he baited the things around the trap, or he, he put additional bait elsewhere because it, like, builds up trust for the animal. Um, so, anyway... But I am going to go, there's an estate sale that has a ton of books and just a ton of like really cool stuff that's down closer to the city that I want to go to. Um, I'm going to go there. I have to stop by the store to grab a few items. Um, and I think I also might stop by the bookstore so I can drop off some of these books that I have that have not been going on paperback swap. That was insane. Um, I found a good amount of books that I don't have, but a lot of them are not in the genre that I read. So I gave the bookstore probably about 15 books, all in like good shape. They gave me a dollar and 25 cents. So as much as I love them as a bookstore and I love their little, their little clearance section and the only time I can really justify going to it is when I have books that I want to give in. I really got to get out of the habit of that because they, I don't know what has changed, but now they really don't take, I don't know if it's because maybe they're not getting as much business. I don't know. Regardless, um, I got three books from there. Um, hang on, I've got an email that was interesting, but I am deciding that I am stopping by McDonald's. Why am I stopping by McDonald's? Well, I'm stopping by McDonald's because they have adult, they have their adult Happy Meals and I just want, I want one for nostalgia's sake. So, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Because it comes with, you can choose either a 10 piece nugget meal and fries and a drink and then a toy. And I'm just, I think that's really cool. So that is hoping that they have them. They came out on the third, um, also too, um, I have found out that my friend Ava will be performing tonight. Yay! So I'll well, go to the show. I messed up a little bit on the drink. I said hi C and I meant to say hi C fruit punch, but maybe I'll like this. Ah! Sorry. Uh, usually I don't really get a drink. Um, I will say though, so it was like $11, but this is how big the drink is. 
I'll drink some of it. But here's the box. Ta -da. They also don't give you small fries. Like, they give you, like, medium fries. But first, let's see what toy I got. Probably going to be Cactus Buddy. I was right. I think it's uh, it's very hard for people to get the other ones. I think they it's mostly Cactus Buddy. So Anyway, but I'm going to sit here and eat because my drive home is going to be, like, an hour. Well, I don't want to be starving. I'm not going to bother it this time, though. I'm not even, I'm not going to go close to it because it can stay there to go to this show and I changed my shirt so I actually look nice just like I suspected uh Ava was a phenomenal Amy she was brilliant um this was my first time ever seeing the um one act version um an interesting cut um uh, if I do say so myself interesting choice of the uh adaptation uh from the original but that has nothing to do with the actors of this show they all did a great job uh the scene the actress who played um uh joe did a brilliant job in the uh, scene with amy the very emotional scene they they both did such a great job in that scene so definitely a great production and i'm very glad i got to come see it okay i'm home um i was going through my email and i found out that Someone who I just sent a book to through on paperback swap marked that there was a problem with it because apparently there were sticky things on the pages and I was like, I just read that book. Like, anyway, so I didn't know that apparently that can like hurt your, I don't know, your account. You have to like resolve it with the person and so you have to respond to their message, of course. So I did that and I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I literally just read that book recently myself. I don't know how that got on there, but I'll check the other books that are in that pile. Thank you for letting me know. Because the person said they were able to get the stuff off of the pages fairly easily. So I was like, then why, like, why did you mark it as a problem if you were able to solve it? So anyway, um, so now there's an option, I guess, where I can refund the credit to that person, which I don't have a problem doing that, except... I don't know how, like I, I've tried looking for it. I've tried looking up how to look for it. I mean, for a little bit. So I, I know it's gotta be there somewhere, but I was like, I mean, I wrote the person back and I said, you know, do, do you want me to do that? Do you feel like that's necessary? Or since you were able to get it off the pages, like, do you feel that's not necessary? Like, I don't know, but I, I the person, basically they have to mark it as resolved. Like the other person has to mark it as resolved. And if they don't, then it can hurt my paperback swap account, which I will be really mad if for some reason, just, I don't know. Like I get it if someone's not sending quality books, but what it should also be is for people who, cause I've had multiple times where I've requested a book from someone and they're like, oh, they don't respond for days. And then they're like, oh, I don't have that book anymore. I'm like, there needs to be some sort of thing for that too, to be like, you need to keep what you have open up to date. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.